seats. This has to be taken note of it and the health ministry has to take a decision to extend 27% reservation to OBCs and should file in a reply in the Supreme Court. I've got the data uh, about the uh, lack of funds allotted to the post-metric scholarship as well as the pre-metric scholarship to all the students, it had to be increased. The inadequate budget allocation under these schemes is because of the gap between the funds decided by the Ministry of Social Justice and those approved by the Ministry of Finance and it should be uh, bridged. Madam, justice delayed is justice denied. The implementation of reservation for SCs, STs and OBCs in higher educational institutions funded by Centre was delayed for more than 15 years after the announcement, while the same for EWS was done within a month of announcement. This disparity should be set right. Madam, again, the Ministry of Social Justice has created Dr. Ambedkar Foundation and allotted funds. We are happy and it's a welcome move. Similarly, the government has to create Tande Periyar Foundation for furthering the ideology and message of Tande Periyar. Madam, coming to the empowerment of women, we are now in the millennial era talking about the empowerment, but way back in 4th century BC, when Aristotle was lecturing to his students that women were subjective to men, that men were rulers and women were subjects, it was Augustine, a woman who disguised herself as a man and became the world's women's first doctor. And who was Plato's teacher? It was Meletasio Asbasia, who was a woman celebrated as the first lady of Athens. But here, in this, even after the government having declared the year 2001 as the year of women empowerment, we are still fighting for 33% reservation for women. Isn't it a shame, madam? I wish to place it on record that uh, 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 reservation is our birthright. It is neither a concession nor any arms given as mercy to us. We want minimum, not maximum 50% reservation and the government should take steps to implement the 33% reservation. Dr. Kalinga has implemented 50% reservation for women in urban local bodies too. So it is the first state to do so in the whole country. Madam, just two more minutes. Uh, right is its own defense. So I wish to state, urge the ministry through you to allot more funds for the persons with disabilities. Like uh, uh, there are 70 million persons with disabilities here, physically challenged people, and the funds allocated is 330 crore only. You have to <coughs> increase it. Also, the fund for the Deen Dayal Disabled Rehabilitation Program should be increased. Under the Pratan Mandri Adash Gram Yojana, I have adopted a village by name Sittala Pakam. And I, uh, one minute, madam, I'm concluding, I'm concluding. And I request you uh, the, to urge the central ministry to uh, give pressure upon the state government because the Tamil Nadu government has sent back the uh, Nirbhaya fund without properly utilizing the whole amount. It's a shame on the ADMK government for not having fully utilized the fund. So I would like to conclude my speech again with brushed. Those who take the meat from the table teach contentment. Those for whom the taxes are destined demand sacrifice. Those who eat their fill speak to the hungry of wonderful times to come. Those